so next how to generate a square wave by using embedded C program with produce combination just select your project tab and choose the option new project and give your project name square wave and click on save and go for option if this is our all control and manufacturers choose the device so this is the manufacturer atmel and click on this plus mark it will show the list of devices and choose your microcontroller and click on ok so and to write program just go file tab and open your click on new so this is the text editor here you can write our program before writing program try to save this go file tab and select the option save so this is our square wave generation and save your program with .c extension this is the program name you have to save with .c extension compulsive and click on save <coughs> here we can write our program Now from which I open you people are generating a wave. So this time this is a user defined name. I am generating my square wave from P1.0 pin. And so here you can use one user defined function name for delay. And this delay we are generating with timers and now from here our main program starts so now initially this wave logic should be zero and once you enter into the while loop So now uh, just you have to make your wave logic as 1 and with some time delay again you can make it wave logic as 0 and you have to apply the same time delay for logic 1 and logic 0 this should be happened So this is a simple program just I am making logic 1 and logic 0 the specific time delay. Now just I am giving the description for delay function and in delay function what you can write you have to use the timer steps and you have to repeat your timers the exact time delay further this time taking with a specific time and now so these are the steps you have to choose the timer by using T mode register which is with mode 1 and so just I am taking for loop you have to repeat 14 times for getting 1 second time delay
and what are the initial values which are th1 equals to 0 x 0 0 and tl1 equals to 0 x 0 0 so these are the calculations required is a number of pulses and as well as and you have to start your timer by making tr1 bit as 1 and you have to wait until flag bit set to 1 for every counting of 0, 0, 0, 0002 65535 that means f f f f this flag bit is going to set to 1 so you have to wait until it remains 0 and you have to come for next step while tf1 flag bit set to 1 so after tf1 become 1 then you have to clear for next repetition so this will be repeated 14 times this is your for loop so this process has to repeat 14 times that means you people are counting 65536 pulses 14 times so by counting your 65536 pulses 14 times you will get your required time delay so we should be approximately 92 lakhs so to count your 92 lakhs pulses you will get one second time delay so because for each pulse counting you will get 1.0852 microsecond that should be calculated based on crystal frequency so this is the timer accurate time delay and if you want to see the response from this just select target one and click on this plus mark it will ask for source group one and select your file and add to the source group you can compile without adding this file you can you can't compile your program just go after adding your file just build your target so then it will show your errors and warnings present with the program and if you are if you want to make it clear debugging session just select your target one and click on options for target target one and give the crystal frequency compulsory because based on this frequency our people calculated pulse duration and pulse width and highlight your use on chip ROM and in the same window this output tab and select your create x file so after giving all these options again build target and go for debug session so which will help us so you can watch whether square wave is generating or not uh, with the help of debug session so for that go project tab so here there is a logic analyzer window you can open your logic analyzer window and you have to set from which I open you people are generating your square wave and now so your square wave will generate with red color and if you want to change the color you can change now you can run see here your square wave which is generating and if you want to see the response this is all our square wave which is generating and you can check your output by using this logic analyzer window also so if you want to see this same thing on produce then you can stop your debug session and minimize your keel microvision and open your produce tool to see the square wave on and 
select your microcontroller and connect your oscilloscope which is available on virtual terminal virtual instruments and choose your oscilloscope and connect with a specific channel with your specific IO pin after connecting your oscilloscope just double click on controller it will ask for program file path now so just click on folder symbol it will ask for hex file path this is my hex file You can see the response from A channel with a duration this is the amplitude and this is your time duration you can find it square wave with the a channel so this is the way you people can test your waveforms with the help of oscilloscope okay this is the program for generating your square wave by using microcontroller thank you